You know, if you live in Hacienda Heights, instantly St. John Vianney comes up, whether you're Catholic or not. We have the largest community event in Hacienda Heights called Early California Days, our parish fiesta. And it's extraordinary to see how many people who come to this uh, community. It's just God's house and his physical house was burned, but it's gonna be a wonderful day to walk into our new church and see everything that we've built. The flames shooting out of St. John Vianney Catholic Church in Hacienda Heights just after midnight could be seen from the nearby 60 freeway. I was very in disbelief. It was very numb. And it was like losing a family member. And when you learn why it happened, it makes it more upsetting. It was something that none of us dreamed that are happening to this church because there was so much goodness here. That's like kind of in slow motion, you know, you're like, you really could not believe that somebody would actually do something like this. My mom says, I wonder if I ever get to see the church rebuilt. And she died before, you know, it happened. And I'm just thinking, you know, what it would mean to, for the church to re be rebuilt. But it, it would be that gift that we're waiting to open that gift. It, it was such an incredible experience uh, meeting them uh, and learning about their loss and uh, getting deeper. So we, we, we were very interested. And they had memories in the structure that they've lost. They had, their children had gotten married or baptized. So it's an amazingly charged thing. They wanted to make sure that when they rebuild, they rebuild something that is meaningful. I think maybe the arsonist felt that by burning the church down, he was going to destroy the community. And in, in reality, he actually strengthened the community. We saw the church go down, but the church is us. We still have the community. We still have the heart, the love for each other, and, and it's even stronger. We shared this tragedy together, and now we were united in the effort to rebuild and to renew, and it suddenly just made us like a family. When this tent was put up, uh, there were some people that didn't think that they wanted to go to Mass in a tent, but this thing is packed every Sunday. The Rise Again campaign is important to us because without it, we'll never build a new church. If everybody just did a little bit, it'd make a tremendous difference. And we can hardly wait. This church is gonna be here probably after we're, we're here. And so hopefully our children, our grandchildren will be able to enjoy it. And so, like I said, I just, I can't imagine not giving. You know, this parish is everyone's parish. It's not just, you know, as Jeremy mentioned, not for Monsignor Tim, it's not, you know, just for the archdiocese, it's for the community. So it's just important so that we can all enjoy in this together and, and just bettering the community too. Hopefully people knowing that they're going to have their children baptized there, funerals, other sacraments to be celebrated there. So your generous gift to help us meet our goal will help us pay for this church and build a church for future ages. There's many different ways to give. You can go online, you can come into the parish, you can drop an envelope in the basket. It's very, very simple. It does not take a lot of time. It does not take a lot of energy. The people of St. John Vianney just keep going. You know, even in those moments where you get frustrated or impatient, know that God's with you and that um, your commitment to the parish is so necessary and it's inspiring to so many people. I know that I pray for you guys every day and. Know that God's using you. Even if you don't see it now, God is using your life and the hard work is already paying off. The bonds that you have formed, you know, they, they wouldn't have happened. It's through tragedy alone that we often grow. So keep going. God really is using your lives.